वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इफेक्ट ऑफ साइज ऑन द एंड्रेंस लिमिट ऑफ द एंड्रेंस लिमिट ऑफ द कंपोनेंट हियर एसी डेस डिनोट द एंड्रेंस लिमिट स्ट्रेस ऑफ रोटेटिंग बीम आइडियल स्पेसिमैन दैट इज फॉर द आइडियल स्पेसिमैन एंड एसी डिनोट फॉर द एक्चुअल कंडीशन द कंपोनेंट विच इज सब्जेक्ट टू डू द फ्लक्चुएटिंग स्ट्रेस इन द एक्चुअल कंडीशन हैव एंड्रेंस लिमिट एसी सो वी विल स्टेबलिस इन दिस वीडियो the relation between se and se dash using the size factor as i have already told you in the previous video that when the size of the component size of the component increases then what happen to the entrance limit that is it will decrease the entrance limit will decrease for the component okay friend and as the size of the component decreases the entrance limit will increase okay now the reason i have provided for this was reason for this was that number of flaws that is the number of defects defects in the component increases as the size increases as the size increases the number of defects in the component increases that's why the entrance limit of the component tend to decrease so this was the reason for this now we will introduce a factor to account for the size of the specimen that is k s this is called as the size factor and it varies from 0 to 1 okay friend now this size factor k s is equal to 1 for ideal specimen ideal specimen having entrance limit s e dash now we have to establish a relation between the entrance limit of our actual specimen and the entrance limit of the ideal specimen how using this factor that is the size factor where ks is the size factor okay this ks is the size factor which varies from 0 to 1 so the entrance limit of our specimen that is the actual specimen is equal to ks times the entrance limit of the specimen which is ideal that is the ideal specimen clearly the value of ks vary from 0 to 1 so the value of se that is the entrance limit for the actual specimen will be less than the entrance limit for the ideal specimen always okay friend so this was all for today's video and friend you can watch all my videos related to the design of the component against fluctuating loading uh, in the lecture series that i have taken and i have taken a lot of videos you can go to that package and you can see all the videos related to the fluctuating loading condition So thank you friend for watching my video and please don't uh, forget to subscribe the bell icon subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so thank you friend